Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. Uh, it's an early call for observing tonight. It's uh, 23 hours and 14 minutes into the 29th day of uh, September, and we're already inside. That's because, well, I broke down and I kind of ordered a pizza. <laughs> Every once in a while, you have to have your drug food fixed. I just didn't have anything prepared uh, for myself to have. Uh, usually, I have something quick and easy, but I didn't even have that sort of set up and ready to go. Uh, the mixer I had ordered came in, in terms of the audio mixer. It, it's not working, so, uh, I was just put a request in to get my money back. See how that goes. Usually things go pretty well. Uh, but, uh, lately they, they haven't. They haven't been going that well. There have been issues with, uh, the uh, ordering from China. I don't, not gonna, not gonna put me off because... The amount that the amount that I order from China, and in terms of the amount I save, these little hiccups, um, maybe amount to five percent of my orders, and so it doesn't even begin to bump up the uh, the amount of money that I save that I that I that I that I, that I and in terms of bumping up in terms of the percentage that I save. You know, basically would say, well, if I'm saving 90% in terms of what I would, would ordinarily spend, the amount that I lose is within that, well, t that 10%, so that's where it is. Uh, so even if I don't get the money back, uh, uh, because there's no way I can return it, there's, there's just, uh, I don't have the scooter anymore, so I don't really have any form of, more, form of mobility, so... That kind of kills everything. So. <laughs> but anyway, as, as I was doing my work outside, uh, and a little bit before I started to take a look at uh, TikTok. TikTok is so toxic. It's unbelievable. Uh, you begin to understand what Lionel is talking about because if Facebook is anything like TikTok, uh, and I have a feeling that it is, it's absolutely toxic. There are people... There, it's produced a wide variety of Karens. Uh, and that's, this applies to everybody. There's no males and females, not just, uh, not just females. And the thing is, they use... They, they don't have an understanding of, of, uh, of, of uh, CVD. They don't have an understanding of it. They don't have any background in virology. They have no background in microbiology. They have no background in organic chemistry. And organic chemistry is what's needed in order to understand what's, what's going on, on with CVD. You need organic chemistry. It's not necessarily, it's not nece necessarily a medical issue, issue as much as it is a organic chemistry issue. Uh, understanding the mechanism of why something happens the way it does, uh, in this case here, this is an issue of organic chemistry, not an issue of medicine. Uh, organic chemistry sits before medicine. A large chunk of the medicines you get start off in organic chemistry and then move their way, way forward uh, through the process of drug discovery and into what we call clinical life. Typically, a large chunk of the information that is Produced during these these experimentations, this is released through the journals of science and nature, uh, which are basically lab reports. They show you what's going on, who's doing what, uh, and, they, and what it is is that it, you, you get this because you're reading the lab report. You're not reading someone's uh, uh, description of the lab report or you know a summary of it. You're actually reading the lab report itself. You're seeing how they got the data. You're seeing all the pertinent information. As I, as I said before. It's not a matter of what the answer is. It's how you got the answer. And the thing is, we're not talking about the answer. We're talking about an answer. Because you only, you never actually achieve the 100% the answer. You only approximate it. And this, this is, goes back to uh, the, the, uh, the underlying factors of calculus. Calculus is the mathematics of approximation. So therefore, with calculus, you can never prove anything all you can do is approximate it. Uh, because that's, that's what the mathematics is. It's the mathematics of, of approximation. 
Now, the thing is, is that when people argue back and forth, and they, they, they say what my view is, and I say my view, they get mad at me and say, well, that's your opinion. I say, okay, well, here's my opinion. And I bring out the full science. I bring out the details. And within 10 minutes, like, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. That's too much information. Way too much. You're way over my head. And that's the end of the conversation. There's more than other, there's more than opinion. If you understand organic chemistry, there's more than just simply opinion out there. Uh, in terms of what you could have. The average argument back and forth on, the, on both sides of the aisle are basically people who are posturing. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's about bravado. It's about their sense of status. And this is what this is about. It, 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 it the, it, it, and you begin to realize that there's almost nothing in terms of the science out there. Uh, but they pretend to be. They pretend to be experts. They pretend to be. And what happens is they'll, they'll toss off an argument with jokes and this and that. And, and it's not that the person coming across with this is, 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 is correct. It's, it's just what happens is that, I mean, someone will say, oh, we we don't want to we don't want to hospitalize the anti vaxxers anymore. People who don't get the vaccine shouldn't be hospitalized. Well, you hospitalize uh, uh, cancer patients from, from from smoking as well. Well, no one forced them to smoke, and you know it, 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 it harms no one else but themselves. Well, that's not true. Is that a large? I know several people who uh, these are husbands. Who lost their wives? These were guys who were convinced they had their right to smoke. The same issue occurred when the, the smoking laws popped up. I have the right to smoke. I'm not harming anybody else. And so they kept smoking. The wives didn't smoke, but they kept smoking. Well, both of the wives uh, died of uh, lung can of, of of cancer. I not won't say lung cancer, but. And it, they knew, and and it was understood that this was caused by the secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke has been proven to be toxic. Uh, oh, that guy was getting high. You, a dr you can't catch dr a dr you can't cr catch drug addiction from somebody. Well, yes, you can because if you're in a room where someone is smoking crack, or it, 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 this is, goes into uh, methamphetamines. The health department will not allow a house to be sell be sold. If they have evidence that they, that that they've been either smoking or, ma or, or 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 manufacturing methamphetamines, and that leaves it leaves a solid chemical print, a footprint, uh, in the house or any location where it's been, because it just it stains, it permeates the wall, and so a person can become addicted to what we call the residual the, the residuals, uh, the the residue that comes out of the uh, of the drugs that are being, if it's anything that is being smoked, someone who breathes in that smoke will have an effect, will have an impact on whether they become addicted or not. And sometimes, and sometimes it just takes one puff, and that's all it is. And now you're hooked and you're addicted. Again, the person has no understanding of the person who sort of tosses off and says, you know, oh, well, this anti-vax is wrong because you can't do this and you can't do that uh, with. Uh, these forms of addiction, these forms of, of, well, smoking is an addiction as well, but you have these medical consequences. Well, should we now be barring people because of these things? You know, there are homosexuals, gays, particularly men, uh, and I say specifically men, who knew the risk of AIDS, but yet chose not to use any form of protection, and have caught, caught, got AIDS. They were infected with AIDS. Do you exclude them now from the hospital because, you know, they didn't use protection and, well, it's costing everybody's money? And so, so what happens is that when you start applying and you, ask, you, you, you look at the questions, and the thing is, is that, well, you, you can't catch AIDS. Well, yes, you can. Why do you think medical people wear gloves and everything like that? To deal with an AIDS patient, they have to wear uh, the. This is where you have to have the personal protection equipment, the PPE. The same thing with Ebola. And the thing is, ironically enough, the, the 
the, the, the data from Ebola is coming back, and it was found out that the UN, the World Health Organization, had been sexually abusing people in Africa. Through the program. I think that this, this sexual abuse program, like Epstein, because Epstein was connected with the UN. So this stuff, if you understand what's going on, you really do have a background understanding. Then a large chunk of the, well, the anti-vaxxers are not correct in their understanding of things, because they don't understand the organic chemistry, but neither are the vaxxers. The vaxxers are as much conspiracy theorists as the anti-vaxxers are. There is no fun fundamental difference. There's just two sides of the same coin. And then the way it plays out is just unbelievable. Just seeing the level of animosity and, 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 and the people taking joy in this argument. You know, sitting back and, you know, well, 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 I'll fix that guy. Well, did you? I mean, this is the same thing with, with what's going on with the police. I mean, uh, South Park hit it right on the head. There's Cartman uh, as a police officer on his uh, big wheel, and he's got the nice helmet and the, the shades, and his whole thing is, is uh, respect my authority. <laughs> well, that's what, you, that's what you see on all these takedown videos where police are taking people down illegally. This is what it is. It's all about respect my authority. Respect my authority. It is South Park over and over again. And they've known about this since the 1970s. This is the work of Dr. Philip Zimbardo. And it's not a, it's not a federal issue or a provincial issue or, or a state issue. It's a municipal, municipal issue. The municipal, the, the mayor and the, and, and the municipal council they're the ones who, de who determine what the training is, what the policies are in terms of policing. And so if you don't go after the mayor for what's going on, you can't go after the, the, the governor nor can, or, 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 the, or the premier, nor can you go after the prime minister or the, uh, or the president of the United States. But it's not, it's not within their jurisdiction. But again, this is all completely ignored. Anyways, uh, I just finished uh, uh, at, uh, at Yali Vlogs, and I'm now headed over to uh, It's Our Life on my YouTube stroll. I think things are pretty uh, much self-explanatory as, as you go along. But as I said, you see, that people have, have had, this the, the whole situation, and this has been in history as well, always have these impacts that are un, un, sort of unpredictable because... You're dealing with a macro, microcosm that has no particular direction. It's always all over the place from our perspective. It doesn't necessarily mean there isn't an overall direction. It just means that on the micro level, you can't make any predictions. This is the way, a lot of times the way uh, quantum physics is. So as a, as a quantum physicist, to see them on the micro level, to see this level of what we call probability, this is par for the course. Well, it is uh, 14 hours and 28 minutes into the 30th day of September, <laughs> 2021. And I'm here for another package opening. Let's see if I can open this without using the scissors. Uh, yes, possibly. Looks that way. So... This package open, and I think what, I know what this is. Mm, let's see here. Let's open this one first. Let's open this one first. And then we'll go with the larger package. And this is a kit for uh, ear hygiene to help you clear up your ear. It's upside down. Although I'm not necessarily too sure. But that's what that was. Let's 
see here. Another package here. It appears to be a cable of some sort. Should be the antenna cable, but I don't know if the connectors are exactly right. Okay, this is a cable. This is a package within a package. And this is another cable connector to go with the other one. Although the connectors are kind of small, that's the, that's the thing, the connectors are kind of small. So, not necessarily too sure how, how this fits, this feels like this, fits like this but uh, I don't know whether or not it goes to the other end of the, my trailer's connector. Let's see here, so, the wires came in, the wire connectors came in. Another package here, all from the same company, all from the same shopping mall, online shopping mall. We'll see what this is. Got it open. And these are, oh yeah, this is again, this goes with the ear cleaning kit. I'll more than likely be using that later on tonight. have anything else in here. Make sure we get the packets emptied out. No, the main packets packets emptied out. So now on to this. I haven't needed the scissors yet. Everything has been opening well, so. Okay, this is the endoscope also for the ear, but this is so I can see inside my ear uh, when I'm talking, when I'm looking at uh, attaching it to the phone so I can take a video of what's inside my ear. So that's kind of useful. Put this back in its package and put it with the other uh, bits for the ear. And now on to our uh, final package, which I'm pretty sure what this I know what this is, but I don't think that it is as they say, as described. I think the description is more than likely going to be a little off. Mm. Mm. 
So let's get this open. Sometimes you have a hard time opening the package. The, 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 the plastic on top of it sometimes it's difficult to sort of uh, break off. Uh, the this is actually shrink wrap. Uh, this is uh, basically a plastic wrapped around a package and then heat sealed. Then it shrinks around the package, forming a tight seal. It's not necessarily as good as bubble wrap, but, you know, it indicate, it's sort of an indicator that the package is brand new and uh, unopened. But uh, a store could... Uh, create the uh, create the sort of the, the pack the new packaging effect. So it's not necessary to indicate an, an indicator in either way of good or bad. So let's see if we can get this open. Try this again. Okay, it looks like it got better. Got a better uh, hold on it. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm gonna use the scissors a little bit more. <laughs> upgraded my uh, I upgraded my Firefox on one of the computers. Uh, it's now version nine. I went from uh, version forty-seven to version ninety. So I'll probably end up doing this with the with the other computers as well that I have. It's all Linux, so the upgrading is a little more complicated than uh, typically adding uh, doing a simple upgrade on Windows. Yeah, that's what, that's what I expected it to be. It is a Bluetooth speaker. This was supposed to be a large one. This was supposed to be, you know, <laughs> significantly larger than it currently is. So, uh, it showed this was the size of a boom box, but this is not actually the size of the boom box. So this is probably the mini. So this is it. This is it here. This is the uh, Bluetooth speaker. I do have some use for it, so I still will use it, but I'm going to try to get my money back. Uh, that's the way things go sometimes. Sometimes you get good things. Uh, that most, most of the package I opened up was good, uh, but uh, one is not good. So That's the way things go sometimes. We are... Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life.